Hello friends, this video on biodiversity and conservation part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So uh, in this regard, we will now talk about species extinction and the loss of biodiversity. So now when we talk about the loss of biodiversity, let us take an example of an aquarium. Now I'm sure all of you know what is an aquarium. So you have this uh, glass box kind of a structure where you have the entire aquatic environment where you see different types of fishes being present there. So now what will happen if we start taking out the fishes one by one from the aquarium? Now inside the aquarium you have some fixed number of fishes there. Now if you start taking out one fish each day, after a couple of days what will happen? the aquarium will be empty. There will be no fish left inside the aquarium. So here this aquarium is like an ecosystem. So removing the fishes from the aquarium is under our control. How can you balance the number of fishes which were present in the aquarium? So if you do not want, now once the aquarium is empty, that means that ecosystem is all spoiled, it is all destructed. But if you don't want the number of fishes to reduce, but at the same time you are taking out fishes from the aquarium, then what will you have to do in order to compensate the number of fishes? You will also have to add the fishes inside the aquarium so that it can balance out the fishes which are going out of the aquarium. But if you look at the real ecosystem, so this was just an example where adding a fish is also under our control, taking out the fish is also under our control. So both addition and subtraction is, out in, is under our control. But when you look at the real scenario of an ecosystem, what happens? There are a variety of species which are already existing on this earth, starting from insects, human beings, animals, plants. So everything is there. Now here also if you see, removing these organisms from the ecosystem is under our control because it, it has happened that human beings, they go for hunting and they kill so many animals. So if you decide that okay, I want to kill all the lions which are present on this earth, that is under your control. You can shoot all the lions. But once all the lions are gone, will you be able to add lions to the ecosystem? Now adding an, a lion to the ecosystem is not under our control. So that is the difference between the example of aquarium and the real ecosystem. So in real ecosystem, if we keep on destructing the animals, the number of animals keep on reducing, the number of species keep on reducing, biodiversity keep on decreasing. But Adding up the species to the ecosystem is not under our control. So if we keep destructing the species one day, that species will become extinct. And extinction of species is something which, we, which is really, really not desirable. Now some of the common causes of species extinction are as follows. Loss of habitat. Now, many of the organisms became extinct. Now, one, of, one example which most commonly comes to your mind whenever you talk about extinct species is dinosaurs. We have seen so many movies on dinosaurs, so we know that once upon a time they existed, but now they don't. So, what are the causes of species extinction? One common cause could be loss of habitat. Now, all of us, we all need some space to live. We all have our own houses. Right. So now if the species, the species, all the organisms also need some area where they can live, they need a habitat. So loss of habitat can actually cause extinction of species. Now who causes or who results in the loss of habitat? Most of the things are under the control of human beings and human beings destroy the habitat of many animals and birds. So many times it happens that human beings cut down entire forests for their own benefit, to set up an industry, to set up a factory or to set up some uh, residential uh, buildings. So they cut the entire forest. Now if you cut the entire forest, there were so many animals which were residing in that forest. So what will happen to those animals? So they lost their habitat. Now when, the, when animals lose their habitat, many a times those species become extinct because they are not able to survive in different types of habitat because not all animals will have very good adaptation power. Now this loss of habitat happens due to deforestation that is cutting down of many trees for their own benefit. 
So here you see initially the number of trees were more. So now the trees are getting reduced. Pollution is another important factor due to pollution. Also many of the habitats are getting polluted and that is why they are no more suitable for the survival of that particular species. Human needs. Now human need beings are cutting down plants. Why? Because they need the wood for uh, making their furnitures. They need it. They need that land by cutting down the trees for agricultural purpose or for rearing animals or for setting up a factory. So there are so many human needs and human greed is something that has no limits. People want everything for their own benefit. So for all these purposes, what happens is a lot of animals lose their habitat and that becomes a cause of their extinction. Second is over exploitation by humans, as I said. Now, why are the human beings over exploiting the plants and animals? That is because the human population is increasing very fast. Now, when the population is increasing, your resources are still the same. You still have the same number of trees. You still have the same area. So everything is the same, just that the number of human beings are increasing. So, and whichever human beings are existing, they also need food. They also need shelter. They also need everything that is required for survival. So what's happening is, Human beings are cutting down trees and getting area for building more houses. They are setting up factories to manufacture more products which are required for the more number of human beings who are being added to the population. So overpopulation is one of the major factors which, uh, which is resulting in adverse effects on the environment. So due to human benefit, what happens is commercially important species are grown at the cost of losing other species. For example, if human beings feed on fish, so they want to grow more and more fish. Now, when they try to grow more and more fish, what do they do? They need an area, they need everything which is suitable for the survival of fishes. But when too many fishes come into picture, what happens? They might start eating up the small aquatic insects or the small organisms which are present in water. So that means those small organisms might become extinct. But human beings don't bother. They just want to uh, support the survival of those organisms which are commercially important to them. So now in the same example, if you think that if breeding fishes is, um, is of commercial significance or commercial importance, in that case, continued use of pesticides or insecticides for continued breeding of fishes can kill several other aquatic species. So this way, overexploitation by human beings can also cause extinction of species. Invasion by alien species. Now what do we mean by alien? Some organism which comes somewhere from outside and then suddenly invade the existing species. So this introduction of alien species can become deadly for the existence of certain species. Now the, the alien species can be a predator. That means let us suppose that you have a particular ecosystem where uh, say let us suppose small insects are present. Now suddenly if you if a human being, it, I mean, it is not necessarily that a human being has to introduce the alien species or maybe by any chance an alien species came and entered inside that ecosystem. And that alien species is a predator of the insects. So it will start catching the insects and eat them all up. And that is how the existing species of insects can get invaded by the alien species and that's how they can become extinct as well. So that is one scenario. So for example, here in this case, let us take the same example of the fish. Let us suppose these are the fishes which were originally existing in the aquatic ecosystem. Now suddenly, few big fishes are introduced inside the ecosystem which feeds only on these particular fishes. So what will happen? These big fishes will start eating up all these existing fishes and this can cause their extinction. It can also happen if the alien species is a competitor. That means you already have these many fishes inside the ecosystem. Now you have introduced few other fishes which are of some different category. But these fishes also feed on the same thing on which these fishes feed on. So that means both of them, they do not catch each other and eat them. But they both are fighting for the same 
prey. So as a result, the introduction of these alien species will pose a threat to the existence of these species because they are also competing for the same resources for their survival. So, <coughs> So over a period of time, these alien species will keep on increasing in number. Now the third cause could be co-extinction. Now what do we mean by co-extinction? Co means together, anything that happens together. So when two different species become extinct together, that is known as co-extinction. So one good example would be the associated species which become extinct together. Now you would have heard of many relationships between different species where one species live inside the body of another species. So that means those two species are connected. So let us suppose, let us look at the example of host and parasites. So what is a host and what is what are parasites? Now hosts are those organisms inside which some other organisms live. And parasites are those organisms which live inside the body of a host. It derives its food and everything from the host. So that is the relationship between host and parasite. Now if the host becomes extinct, what will happen to the parasite? It will definitely become extinct because the parasite was living inside the body of the host. Now when you think of this kind of example, just think of human beings itself. Now inside our body, there are several bacteria which live inside our body. They live comfortably inside our body. They get all their nutrients from our body itself. Now what will happen if human beings extinct? So obviously those bacteria will also get extinct because they are present inside the body of human beings. Correct? So those kind of extinctions are called co-extinctions. So these are some of the major causes of extinction of species. So as I gave you the example of bacteria which live in the human intestine. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.